All right, so this garden doesn't get much attention usually, but I wanted to give you a quick, um, a quick tour of this one. This is a part shade garden also, and it has a couple different varieties of plants that are shade loving, um, part sun loving. And I wanted to just go through the names of these. And this is a little corner garden, um, maybe about 12 feet deep at its deepest, you know, kind of at the triangular points. And then um, just has a wide border in the front. So yeah, this garden gets part sun about four hours in the morning. And then it is, the sun is blocked by the house. So it works out really well. Uh, doesn't get any hot afternoon sun and these plants thrive really well there. Um, first one we have in the corner to line things up. This is mollus or ladies mantle. Um, it's got a beautiful leaf on it, beautiful delicate leaf. And then it gets these yellow flowers, uh, which are just about to open. So they'll get really bright yellow, have a nice contrast. They tolerate dry shade. Their roots aren't very deep. It's a very good ground cover and edger uh, if you need something for that. And the bees are, where are you, bee? There he is, just hanging out. He's like, oh yeah, he's gonna get some fresh pollen off that. <laughs> anyway, so I have um, also a peony. You know, the buds don't get super huge on this, but um, I have five buds. Oh, six, seven buds, actually. There's a few in the back. So that'll be a nice, you know, fuchsia color against the yellow and the bluish ladies mantle. I love that. The tall plants in the back are tree lilies or orient pets, they call them. Uh, they, this is a salmon colored. They'll bloom sort of later in the summer and they smell amazing, which is why I love keeping them there. Not the best spot, but you can smell them from the front porch. So I love keeping them there. Right below that, there are two hostas that are recently added. Those are in the Holler um, series, H-O-L-A-R, I think Holler Grape, uh, because you can see there's like purple veining in them and they both have colored stems. So I'm not sure what the other Holler variety is, but I know one of them is Holler Grape. That's a little area called Brit Marie Crawford. There's another nice white edged bluer hosta in the back. William Francis next to it. That's really starting to show its size. Jack Frost Brunera. There's three clumps of those in there that are growing nicely together. And then in front of that, which I think makes a really great contrast, is a stilby. This a stilby is called Delft Lace and it gets this bronzy, beautiful foliage. And the more sun it gets, the more color it holds. So if you give it a lot of shade, it'll kind of turn this that green color, even though it has the darker tips on the edge, but it stays mostly this color. So just a nice foliage plant and it blooms. It has like light pink blooms, so it's amazing. There is, in back of this, is another Ligularia. I think this is Bottle Rocket, which gets the bright yellow stalks of flowers. And another peony in the back. And, Please oh, look at, look at that. Hi. <laughs> Let's just get this hand stirring. Yeah, so my husband is weeding for me this morning. Yeah, <laughs> trying to hear my relaxing headbanging music, but I keep hearing this jibber jabber in the box. Relaxing headbanging music, that's like an oxymoron. Yeah, well, so am I. Mm, yeah. Anyway, in there, there is a hosta underneath there. I'm not sure what what variety or cultivar that is, but it's in it's planted in Lamium. Um, actually, they were not planted together, but Lamium sort of takes over, and I have a rock wall ledge on the other side of that, which I'll show you. So it's sort of draping over that, and I kind of like it. Um, so it's sort of left to do its own thing. In the front here, this is a Simisifuga that is variegated. And check out the foliage on this. So in the other garden, I have the chocolate bugbane, which is a darker foliage. And then it's tall. It's like three to four feet with a white plume in the fall. This gets the white plume and bloom, but the foliage is mottled like this. And it's short. It's like a very well-behaved one. It's like the first, first time I saw it was only one plant in the nursery and I got it. 
and it's actually starting to fill out a little bit. It was kind of small for a while, but now it's getting its nice little clump. Maybe there was two. It looks maybe, unless I divided it, who knows. I've had it for a couple years, but I love it. And then of course we have the good old uh, Japanese painted ferns, which offer great texture and foliage um, all season and variegated Solomon seal. And I love the way that looks underneath with the, with the painted ferns. They go, they, they just work really well together. And then of course I have the high noon, which bloomed really nicely this year. Uh, this was high noon. It's beautiful, huge, huge flowers. It smells so good. It's not like my favorite smelling flower for sure, but I can definitely tell when it's in bloom. It's got a pretty strong fragrance. Um, kind of lemony, kind of flowery beautiful i mean blooms everywhere and some that are already done because the heat took them but anyway huge flowers that's my hand between the two of them just like massive bigger than my hand but yeah so i wanted to just give this garden a little bit of love because it's actually a really cute garden it's like 12 by 12 with the longer border in the front but you know what it's worth showing it's got lots of good texture plants in there and now i'm just gonna stop annoying my husband who... what about showing them this <laughs> the before and after uh, i'd be happy to actually oh i wanted to show them the draping of the lamium over the rock wall anyway so see how it just kind of fills in here but i like that look it's kind of pretty can i ask you a question <laughs> <laughs> Usually during garden season, the maid goes on vacation. This year, the weeder went on vacation. That's not true. I have events. I have a bridal shower this morning, so I don't want to like get all disgusting, even though I have to take a shower and get ready. But I, it's, I'm, it's time. Like I can only, I want it to come out because I love going around my gardens in the morning. And most gardeners do. If, most gardeners go around their garden, even even though they see them every day. I know you, you think they don't look different from day to day, but they do completely. And this looks amazing, and I'm very grateful to you that you're weeding because this has, you know, it's June. It hasn't even been mulched. It has been weeded once, but it's a mess over here. And I, it needs to be redone, this side. Like, this catmint is out of control. It needs, you know, this needs a little work. It needs a lot of work. Yeah. and uh, I'm, But I'm grateful that you're taking out. You gardeners we could call? Hey. Well... Be nice. This isn't my occupation, as you could tell. I didn't, yeah, but I didn't ask you to do it, so I'm really happy. I think I, you're putting on a show. Well, I think you're just helping me out and being su the super oh, husband that you always yeah, are. Yeah, really? <laughs> no, I told you. I want to get my hands dirty later, baby. I'm yeah. a peony. Oh, my God. You're a peony. Right? You're going to pet the peony you went, you went from a You went from a peony to a, I mean, a pansy to a peony. Yesterday I was a pansy, but yeah. after weeding these gardens, I'm a peony. <laughs> Yeah, a peony All in my right, ass. Me be. I'm trying to listen to some ACDs. I know. I just wanted to do this cute little, like, this garden doesn't get any love a lot. Like, it doesn't get a lot of love. Well, but it looks pretty, and it's not even in bloom. Like, this is this is a decent-looking shade garden, and it's not even in bloom. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a shout-out. So anyway. garden down here that I just weeded. You missed a whole bunch, I got to tell you. Well. Come here. Let me show you something. I didn't miss one big plant. Look it. Hopefully you missed that Look one. it. What? Come here, I just want to show you. Oh. All these? Yeah. That's weeds in between the plant. Yeah, well. But it looks it looks good. Oh, and I see a couple a little more over there. I don't there, see but... any missing plants, do you? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I will compare this to my other well. video. Anyway, later. Thank you.